Hi, I'm Julie Yak, and I'm here to talk about formulas don't have to be scary. I know that we hear all of these no code, low code, anybody can do it stories. And while that's true, sometimes some of that can be pretty darn intimidating. So I'm not a developer and I wanted to bring this to you to explain to you some of the pieces that feel very much like code to someone like me that's not a developer. So when I look at this formula, I'm terrified. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know which parts are helpful, which parts are doing what. And if you're getting a developer to tell you what's happening, the explanation we're going to get is this will first submit the new post, clear an in-memory collection, and add the tagged friend to the in-memory collections, and relate each tagged pet in the in-memory collection to a news post. That sounds pretty intimidating for me. And as I said, I'm not a developer. So let's go in and I will dissect this and give a couple of helpful hints about how to make formulas less scary. So first, let's talk about some general best practices or not even best practices, but understanding of how things work. So close everything that you've opened. So you can see here that I have highlighted the parentheses. I have three layers of open parentheses I am required to have then three layers of closed parentheses. This applies to parentheses, curly braces, and more. You will be prevented from proceeding with your formulas until these issues have been resolved. Another thing to be aware of are the semicolons. You can think of semicolons as semi-independent items. So the semicolon will separate your complete thoughts from the next complete thought. So let's look at this formula. Very top of the page, submit form, new story form. Okay, easy enough. So the form that we are submitting is called the news story form, and we want it to submit. That submit will take that data that we have and send it to the data source, which in our case is CDS. Next, it says clear my pets. Wait a minute, what if I don't have pets? Well, this is in case we do have pets because we don't want it to mess with the integrity of the data that we're submitting now. So before we make a new collection of pets, let's make sure we don't have an old collection of pets that we are referencing. So now we're going to build our collection of information that we're going to include on that submission of the form. So here we are building our collection of pets. So these pets are the ones who have been tagged in the post. So I have a news story that I want to share. I have information that I've put, maybe a photo. Then I have the ability to select pets to include. This will gather those and make them available for us to submit on the form. Then from there, what we're going to do is take those pets that we've gathered in our collection and relate them to the story that we are submitting. So I hope that my explanation of formulas helped you out. Head over to 365.training, have a look at the training offerings that we have, and then click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.